are live at the Alamo Dome. Um, this is Puto Pincha's first time meeting Jim Goodman of UTSA Athletics. And uh, we're getting ready to talk about this upcoming football season for UTSA. So thanks for coming over here or actually letting us into the house today because this is your this is your ball field. Well, it's our home field. <laughs> yes. And, and, you know, but the Alamo Dome has become a tremendous asset for um, UTSA football from a recruiting standpoint, from a fan standpoint. Because when you come to the games here, you've been to them. Yeah. If you're a UTSA definitely. alum. And they're, they're a lot of fun. So appreciate you having us here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So um, just to make sure that I get this correct, I'm sure you are a man of many hats, but what is your <laughs> official title at UTSA? Well, my official title is a Associate Athletic Director for Marketing, Public Relations, and Broadcasting. That is a very long title. There is a lot going on, <laughs> and we wear many hats. You're correct. Right. Um, so uh, we're excited. Uh, again, thank you for coming on. Um, it's so neat to meet you because... Like you mentioned, you know, I graduated from UTSA. Um, I've been to the football games, got to go to the very first one. They've been a lot of fun. Um, they're downtown. I love downtown. Puto Pincha has a huge focus on downtown events. So um, besides, you know, maybe lack of venues or things like that uh, around where the main campus is, uh, what is the appeal to getting people to come down and watch UTSA games here in the heart of the city? Well, first of all, everybody likes coming downtown. It right. doesn't matter if you're a visitor. It doesn't matter if you're a student at UTSA. It doesn't matter if you're a local. You've lived here your whole life. San Antonio downtown has always been an area where people like to migrate to. So us playing down here was a natural extension. We have a downtown campus. Yes. We've got the ITC, the Institute of Texan Cultures, is one of our campus right across uh, 281 from the Alamo Dome. So it, it, it fit from a community standpoint, not just UTSA. In the community, not only UTSA people, but government, local government, the business community has all stepped forward to help support this football program. Yeah. And it was, it's, a, it's been an undertaking, getting right. the thing started and getting it kicked off. But the support's been tremendous, and the games are a lot of fun to come to. Definitely. So what season are we in of UTSA football? It's amazing to be able to say that we're starting our third awesome. season. Cool. It seems like it was just yesterday that we were playing our first game. But, yes, the third season, and we step up in competition another level. Um, and our non-conference schedule at home is our home opener, September the 7th, against the Oklahoma State Cowboys, a awesome. Big 12 team. And I think, if I'm not wrong, they're picked to win the Big 12 or at least contend for the title. Wow. And then our other non-conference game at home is the University of Houston Cougars. Awesome. Okay, so, yeah, and, and definitely, you know, we on the Puto Pinto Show, we talk about relevant events and things that are coming up pretty soon. So uh, the first home game is going to be an awesome, a big one. Are there going to be fireworks this time? Because I know there were some fireworks before. Yeah, we, we <laughs> might have some fireworks. We've got a few things maybe up our sleeve that, that we'll do. Um, you know, part of coming to an event like this not only is to come to watch the football game, but the entertainment aspect of it as well. So... We like to kind of keep people off balance, so we might shoot off some fireworks. <laughs> so there will be surprises at the first game. The first game is actually on Saturday, September 7th at 11 a.m. And I kind of asked you this before, but if a game starts at 11, what time do you want to see people out here partying for the tailgating? <laughs> you know, it's going to be a breakfast tailgating. So awesome. not as early as the cowboy breakfast before rodeo. Yeah. The kickoff is at 11 o'clock, so tailgating will be a breakfast tailgating. Okay. Uh, so... You know, uh, it, I would just move, if, if I were tailgating, yeah. and depending upon if I got to the game like two and a half hours ahead of time, yeah. I would just move it up from when I normally get here, two and a half or three hours okay. whenever I normally get here. So don't be the procrastinators that you guys typically are and show up early. Tailgaters are pretty good about that. They like to get out there and party. You so. know, we, we did, what was really kind of interesting is about midway through our first season, we had some people come in to kind of see what we were doing here. And we had a guy who is, um, he works for um, a company called IMG Worldwide. Okay. And they're very big out. Yeah. But they, they represent a number of, of very large universities. And, and the guy had gone out and walked through our tailgating area. And he goes, well, I don't know what kind of one loss records you're going to have. But I've never seen people in a first year tailgate as well as your fans do. That is so, awesome. So you guys really know how to tailgate. Yeah. And, and it's true. If you've ever gone out there and, and experienced the, the the parking lots and Rowdy Town and the Sunset Station area, our fans know how to tailgate. So um, on average, how many people do you see out there tailgating? You guys have oh, those numbers? Oh, wow. Um, well, the Alamo Dome has about 3,200 parking spaces. Yeah. And, and we've been sold out in parking since Amazing. day one. So I guess... it. 
depends on how many people in each car yeah. are coming to tailgate. <laughs> so I, I don't know what that number is, but it's a lot. That's And, and that's great. And it, I, I know over the last two seasons, um, like myself who focuses on downtowners or people coming downtown and like the downtown blog with Express News, we do a pretty good job of uh, promoting the awareness of, hey, it's going to be super busy today. So, you know, there's going to be tailgaters, there's going to be people out partying, they're still out partying after the game. You know, it's a great day to be downtown. You just got to prepare a little bit more in order to get down here if you live down here or work down here or are normally down here anyway. So. And, you know, and you can look at the early kickoff time, you know, one of two ways. Um, you know, you have more time after the game to go to the Riverwalk. Yeah, You have you know, more time to enjoy that aspect of it um, because your, your day's not totally gone by the time that the game's over with. Yeah. And that particular game, the reason the kickoff is at 11 o'clock is that's a national telecast on the new Fox 1 channel. Awesome. And uh, so it'll be seen across the country. So um, San Antonio keeps so, moving on up. So, you know, if you look on your um, your provider, whether it's cable or satellite or whatever, and find out who's uh, got Fox 1, and that's where you would tune in if you're not going to come to the game. Um, you know, so that's exciting. All of our games this year will be on TV. Wow. You know, so that is really some, cool. Somewhere. Yeah. You know, Pac-12 network for the Arizona game, Fox Southwest, Comcast. So, so all know. the alumni can now watch if they can't. You know, if they've Correct. moved out of San Antonio for some crazy reason. I don't know why people would do that, but uh, you know, they can watch the game on television. Yeah, so. Our first, our first game of the season, August 31st, is on the road in Albuquerque. We're playing the University of New Mexico. Oh, okay, awesome. And we have um, a bunch of alums in the Albuquerque, New Mexico area wow. that are coming to that game. Our alumni association from here is going to Albuquerque and is putting together a pregame tailgate party for them. Yeah. And then that game will be telecast all through New Mexico and it'll also be telecast uh, back here to San Antonio. That's great. And and I and I really love that about San Antonio. Um, you know, I've lived here my whole life. So San Antonio has this huge sense of community wanting to be together no matter where they're at. You know, people, San Antonians, I think, seek each other out when they move to other cities. And, and it's great to be able to enjoy, you know, your college football team in in your new hometown so um how long have you lived in san antonio if you don't mind me asking well i grew up just south of here okay um in a small town called beeville i know where beeville is it's between pettis and skidmore <laughs> and uh, i went to college over in seguin at texas lutheran college awesome. but my dad grew up in san antonio okay great. and so my grandparents were here so when i was a kid i spent all my weekends and summers and stuff here and then when I got out of uh, college, I moved here. And then I moved out of state for a while, and it took me a number of years to move back to Texas and then a couple more to move back to San Antonio. But this particular time, I've been back for about 18 years now. Wow. Okay, so it seems like you might like San Antonio and maybe here to stay. Yeah, you know, it's really <laughs> kind of funny. Everywhere I've lived, and I've lived in some really cool places, and I've lived in a number of states, and everywhere I've lived, every community, every town has its own charm. Right. Sometimes you have to find it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I've never lived anywhere that I felt more comfortable or liked more than San Antonio. It, it's something, it, it, this may sound hokey, but it, <laughs> it's something about the rhythm of the place. You know, the just, it, it's easy for me to live here. And I feel part of the community and I like the people and I just like what's going on. Um, you know, so it's, it's, it's my, not only is it my, my home, but it's the place I want to be. That's great to hear. That's, I mean, uh, we, you know, P Puro Pincha is, is, a, is like this public announcement every day of all the great things in San Antonio. You know, there's a lot to do here. Living here, I think, like I said, you know, things come naturally. It's easy to find people that like the same things that you do. Easy to find like-minded people that want to make it what our city should be. You know, building things like a college football team that's now on uh, being shown, you know, nationally, um, and just growing from there. A lot of people want to do these things together. So, uh, that's awesome that you feel that way. And, and I'm, thank you for letting me ask that question. So that's very my fun. Pleasure. Um, get, whenever we travel for the university, we get other, other schools, the conference people, the conference USA, uh, we, we love San Antonio. So people love coming here. Definitely. Um, and it's for different reasons, yeah. you know, so listening to them and, and being able to to kind of tell the story when we're on the road, that's a big part of what we do. And I, I'm, I can't speak specifically for our coaching staff, but when I know when some recruits come here and they 
a lot of times they don't know a lot about San Antonio. Right. So they get here and they get a chance to drive around and it's kind of like, wow, this is, right. you know, really, this wasn't what I expected. Um, there was uh, there was a TV crew uh, working on a television show that had come into town and I'm hearing the story secondhand. Yeah. Um, but there was one of the guys from, you know, and they live in California, live in LA. Of course. You know, so they get out here and one guy was like, I had no idea. You know, said, honestly, I thought you guys were Abilene. <laughs> and, you know, so it was no, kind of... No offense, Abilene, no but offense we're not Abilene. Abilene. <laughs> you know, but, but while he was here, he was yeah. he was like, I had no clue. And what's kind of amazing is that there are people out there that still think of San Antonio as, you know, a, a, a dusty, small, backwater, small place. Alamo exactly. town. <laughs> you know, which is amazing to me that, that there are people out there that think that, that are in some high-powered, you know, right. positions. Definitely. But if you can get somebody to come here, they want to come back. Yeah. You know, so... You're right. Uh, it's 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 really kind of neat to be part of, of this community. I, I agree 100%, and, you know, that's why we're really appreciative to have you on the show today because UTSA is doing something great for the city by involving, you know, all kinds of people, building a greater sense of community with athletics and different programs like at the ITC and um, just everything, you know, having a downtown campus, like deciding to put a campus in the heart of the city, the inner city where things aren't always easy, education is not always great. It's good to have something like UTSA right in the middle of our city. So um, we're talking a lot about football games and sports and partying with UTSA because people like to associate that with college. Um, but there's a there's a, a bigger purpose, a yeah, bigger reason <laughs> to right? go to college. And, you know, when we when our student athletes go out and talk to groups, they go out and talk to a lot of middle schoolers and a lot of kids in school. And you know, being a university, first and foremost, it's not all about athletics; it's about academics. And right. So our message is, um, you know, stay in school, graduate, and go to college. Right. You know, we'd like you to go to UTSA, but if that's not your thing, find us. Find a university that you like and, and, and go to school. But, you know, uh, all of the athletics and stuff is fun, but we're a university and we want people to, to get a good education. Definitely. And, and that is most important. And, and if we're not educated, we don't have the mindset to go out and do other things and creative things and build upon those things. And I, I can honestly say I remember clear as day when I was in middle school um, being taken on this, like, day-long uh GT workshop to UTSA, spending the whole day out there brainstorming, working on projects, seeing the college students, just being around them. And it made me realize this is what I want to do. You know, like I, after high school, I want to go to this cool place where all the kids are, you know, learning all these really neat things. And there's a lot of programs that get you involved in uh, just learning more and being smarter and then graduating and going on to do bigger and better things. Yeah, I'm so. not sure what happened to me. But, uh. <laughs> hey, we don't all choose, you know, <laughs> a, a straight and narrow path. You know, there's all these other ways to get there. So um, it's it's really good that we have a resource and a school as great as UTSA in our city to be able to do that with. So, And another perk of going to college are things like football games, and then you get to meet, like, mascots like Rowdy. Right. Correct. So Rowdy, I think, has been jumping around like crazy behind us trying to tell us something. What's up, Rowdy? How's it going? You have a gift for me. That's awesome. <laughs> so we got some tickets. <laughs> um, and so we we do get to give these away. I wasn't just holding them for show the whole time. So uh, we have a great pair of tickets. Thank you very much for gifting these to us um, for the game on Saturday, September 7th. It is an early game at 11, so... Get ready to tailgate early and then come watch the game. Um, and it's a big one. Like you said, UTSA football versus Oklahoma State Cowboys. Um, even though they're in the Big 12, UTSA fans have a lot of heart. They're San Antonians. Who knows what, what can happen? Well, that's why you play the game, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, thanks again for being here with us today, Jim. Uh, we're going to let our fans know how to win these tickets after the show today. Plus, um, UTSA has been awesome enough to give us a discount code for tickets. So you guys are going to get some really great prices on the seats to this year's season. Um, so stay tuned and we'll be right back.